Beyond the stereotypes and misconceptions, how much do you really know about Kazakhstan? Today, we're on a mission to uncover the truth, to shine a light on the less known parts of Kazakhstan that often go unnoticed with 10 shocking traditions and taboos in the country. Stick around till the end, because we're about to peel back the layers of cultural norms and social conventions to reveal a side of Kazakhstan that will surprise, shock, and fascinate you like never before. Let's kick things off with the first shocking taboo. One, wearing your outside shoes indoors or your inside shoes outdoors. Imagine you're about to step inside a cozy Kazakh home after a long day of exploring. But before you cross the threshold, you're met with an unexpected request to remove your shoes. That's right, in Kazakhstan, it's a common practice to leave your outside shoes at the door before entering a home or public building. Why the fuss, you ask? Well, it's all about maintaining cleanliness and hygiene. By removing your outside shoes, you're preventing dirt, germs and muck from being tracked indoors, keeping living spaces pristine and germ-free. It's a tradition rooted in respect for one's home and for the health and well-being of its occupants. This custom isn't just limited to homes, it extends to public buildings and even some workplaces. So don't be surprised if you're asked to slip off your shoes before entering a friend's house or a local establishment. It's all part of the cultural fabric of Kazakhstan, and respecting this tradition shows consideration for the cleanliness and comfort of others. But here's the twist. Once you've shed your outside shoes, you're not just left barefoot. Oh no, in Kazakhstan, it's customary to slip into indoor slippers or socks before stepping foot inside. This practice mirrors customs found in East Asian nations and underscores the importance of upholding cleanliness in indoor spaces. So, the next time you find yourself in Kazakhstan, remember to kick off your shoes at the door and slip into something a little more comfortable. Not only will you be showing respect for local customs, but you'll also be embracing a tradition that values cleanliness and hospitality above all else. It's a small gesture that goes a long way in fostering cultural understanding and connection. And who knows, you might just find yourself embracing this tradition long after you've left Kazakhstan, bringing a little piece of Kazakh culture back home with you. 2. Throwing bread in the trash Next, let's uncover another fascinating taboo that sheds light on the cultural reverence for a staple food in Kazakhstan, bread. In Kazakh customs, bread isn't just sustenance, it's sacred. It's a symbol of hospitality, respect and tradition, deeply ingrained in the cultural fabric of the country. So, imagine the shock when you learn that throwing bread in the trash is not just frowned upon. It's considered a serious breach of cultural norms. Here's the deal. In Kazakhstan, bread and naan hold a special place in the hearts of many people. It's a symbol of abundance, prosperity and generosity, and it's often served to guests as a gesture of respect and welcome. So, to toss bread aside carelessly is not just wasteful, it's seen as disrespectful to the food itself and to the cultural significance it holds. But if bread is no longer fresh or has become stale, it's not simply discarded in the trash. It's common practice to carefully place stale bread on top of garbage cans for birds to peck at. It's a small gesture that honors the sacredness of bread and ensures that even in its twilight hours, it serves a purpose. Wasting bread isn't just about throwing away food, it's about disregarding centuries-old traditions and the deep-rooted symbolism that bread holds in Kazakh culture. From rural villages to bustling cities, this custom is observed by older generations and revered as an important part of their cultural heritage. This means if you ever find yourself in Kazakhstan, remember this golden rule. Never throw bread in the trash. Instead, treat it with the reverence it deserves honoring its role as a symbol of hospitality and cultural pride. It's a small gesture that speaks volumes about your appreciation for the customs and values of the people you encounter. 3. Women Killing Animals There's a long-standing taboo in Kazakh customs against women taking the life of an animal. According to cultural etiquette, 
the responsibility of slaughtering animals typically falls to men. This practice is deeply intertwined with Islamic beliefs, which dictate strict guidelines for the proper slaughter and consumption of animals. Within Islamic tradition, the consumption of certain foods, such as pork, is forbidden, and there are specific rules governing the slaughter of permissible animals. This includes the requirement for animals to be slaughtered in a particular manner, known as halal, to ensure their meat is permissible for consumption. While there's no explicit explanation for why women are prohibited from killing animals, it likely stems from traditional gender roles and cultural norms that have persisted over generations. In many societies, including Kazakhstan, men have historically held primary roles in activities such as hunting, herding and butchering animals, while women have played key roles in domestic tasks and caregiving. This division of labor aligns with broader societal expectations and perceptions of masculinity and femininity, with men often seen as providers and protectors, while women are associated with nurturing and domestic duties. So, while women may participate in various aspects of animal husbandry, such as tending to livestock or caring for animals, the act of taking the life of an animal is traditionally reserved for men. This taboo shows how culture religion and gender roles interact in Kazakhstan. It highlights the significance of understanding and respecting the traditional roles and customs that make up Kazakh society. 4. Eating an animal that has had its blood drained. In Kazakhstan, it's considered a serious taboo to consume meat from an animal that has had its blood drained. This prohibition stems from Islamic dietary restrictions which dictate specific guidelines for the proper slaughter and preparation of animals for consumption. According to Islamic law, it is forbidden to consume the blood of animals, as well as meat from animals that have not been slaughtered in accordance with halal practices. Halal slaughter involves draining the blood from the animal's body in a manner that is considered humane and respectful. For devout Muslims in Kazakhstan, adherence to these dietary restrictions is a fundamental aspect of their faith and cultural identity. Consuming halal meat is not just a matter of personal preference, it's a religious obligation that reflects a commitment to following Islamic principles. The taboo against eating meat from animals that have had their blood drained is deeply rooted in Kazakh cultural norms and historical traditions. For generations, the practices of raising animals and preparing their meat for consumption have been intricately linked to religious beliefs and cultural customs. Beyond dietary restrictions, there are numerous other eating taboos observed among the Kazakhs. For example, it is customary to avoid holding and eating the entire nang, a type of crusty pancake, during meals. This tradition reflects respect for the food, and emphasizes the importance of moderation in eating habits. Additionally, placing food on wooden cabinets or any daily living goods is considered taboo in Kazakh culture. This practice is rooted in the belief that such actions may bring bad luck or negative energy into the household, and it underscores the importance of cleanliness and orderliness in domestic life. As we examine the peculiarities of Kazakh cuisine and dining etiquette, it's essential to recognize and respect these cultural taboos. By doing so, we honor the traditions and values of the Kazakh people, and we gain a deeper understanding of their wholesome heritage. 5. Drinking alcohol in front of elders. All right, buckle up for another cultural taboo that sheds light on the unusual dynamics of respect, tradition, and social etiquette in Kazakhstan. Say you're at a lively gathering with friends and the drinks are flowing. But before you take a sip of that refreshing beverage, there's one thing you need to consider, the presence of older people. In Kazakhstan, it's a big no-no for young folks to drink alcohol in front of their elders. Now, you might be wondering why this seemingly harmless act is considered taboo. Well, it's all about respect, my friends. In Kazakh culture, Elders hold a revered position in society, and showing them deference and honor is of utmost importance. So, when it comes to indulging in a drink, it's all about timing and context. 
This custom isn't just about following the rules, it's about upholding traditional values and showing gratitude for the wisdom and guidance of older generations. It's a way of acknowledging their contributions to society and paying homage to their role as guardians of tradition and heritage. But there's more to the story. You see, Kazakhstan has a bit of a complicated relationship with alcohol. While Islamic beliefs prohibit the consumption of alcohol, Kazakhs are known for their hearty appetite for spirit. From vodka to fermented mare's milk, alcohol is often seen as a bonding element among friends and a key ingredient in social gatherings. However, despite this love affair with libations, the cultural norm of not drinking in front of elders remains steadfast. It's a testament to the enduring significance of hospitality and social customs in Kazakh society, where the values of respect and courtesy reign supreme. So, when you find yourself raising a glass in Kazakhstan, remember to take a moment to consider the company you're in. By honoring this taboo, you're not just following the rules, you're embracing a tradition that reflects the deep-seated values of respect, honor, and gratitude. Six, refusing kumis, even if you don't like the taste. Picture yourself as a guest in a Kazakh home, and your host presents you with a frothy glass of kumis, a traditional fermented horse's milk that's been a staple of Kazakh culture for centuries. But here's the catch. You're not a fan of the taste. What do you do? Well, in Kazakhstan, there's only one option. You drink up, my friend. That's right. Refusing kumis, even if you're not particularly fond of it, is considered a serious breach of etiquette and a sign of disrespect towards your host. But why all the fuss over a glass of milk, you ask? Well, let me tell you, kumis isn't just any old beverage. It's a symbol of hospitality, friendship, and goodwill. Its roots run deep in the nomadic lifestyle of the region, where it was cherished as a source of sustenance and strength for centuries. And it's not just about quenching your thirst. Kumis is believed to have various health benefits, from aiding digestion to boosting immunity. It's like a magical elixir that's been passed down through generations, carrying with it the stories and traditions of the Kazakh people. So, when your host offers you a glass of kumis, they're not just offering you a drink, they're extending an invitation to partake in a centuries-old tradition to share in the warmth and hospitality of their home. By refusing kumis, you're not just turning down a beverage, you're rejecting a piece of Kazakh culture and tradition. It's like saying thanks, but no thanks to a cherished family recipe or a heartfelt gesture of kindness. But fear not, for there's a simple solution to this dilemma. Drink up. Even if you're not a fan of the taste, taking a small sip of kumis is a sign of respect and appreciation for your host's generosity and goodwill. This means if you are ever in Kazakhstan, remember the golden rule. When in doubt, drink the kumis. By embracing this time-honored tradition, you're not just honoring your host, you're embracing the richness of Kazakh culture and history. Taboo 7 stepping on the threshold of the yurt. What's the big deal about a little step? Well, in Kazakh culture, stepping on the threshold of a yurt is akin to stepping on its owner's neck, and you don't want to do that. So picture this. You're visiting a traditional Kazakh yurt, a cozy circular dwelling that's been a symbol of nomadic life for centuries. You approach the entrance with eager anticipation, but before you cross the threshold, there are a few things you need to know. First off, many people open the door flap with their right hand from the right side when entering a yurt. Why, you ask? Well, it's believed that doing otherwise could invite bad luck, and nobody wants to start their visit on the wrong foot, right? But that's not all. Once you're inside the yurt, there's another custom to keep in mind. Tall folks, listen up. Watch your head. The door opening is usually very low, and the last thing you want is to bump your noggin as you step inside. It's all about respecting the space and avoiding any unnecessary mishaps. But the customs don't stop there. When entering a yurt or a house, visitors are expected to follow a specific seating arrangement. Guests are supposed to go to the left and sit on the ground, a stool or a bed, while the host family sits on the right. It's a subtle yet significant gesture 
that shows the importance of hospitality and respect for one's hosts. And once you're settled in, it's time to relax and make yourself at home. In fact, it's preferable to take a nap if you're feeling a bit tired. After all, there's nothing like a little snooze to shake off the travel fatigue. But whatever you do, avoid acting nervous or bringing in bad vibes. Instead, embrace the tranquility of the yurt and soak in the peaceful atmosphere. If you ever find yourself crossing the threshold of a Kazakh yurt, remember to tread lightly and respect the customs and traditions of the culture. This way, you'll not only honor the traditions of the past, but also forge meaningful connections with the people you meet along the way. 8. Crossing your legs in front of older people. In Kazakhstan, there's a deep-seated tradition of respecting and honoring elders. Known as Aksakals or white beards, older individuals are revered for their wisdom, experience and authority. So when it comes to showing respect for elders, every gesture counts, including how you sit. Crossing your legs in front of older people is considered a major taboo in Kazakh culture. Why? Because it's seen as a sign of disrespect and disregard for their authority and wisdom. Kazakhs believe that crossing your legs in the presence of elders is akin to challenging their status and undermining their importance in society. Instead, it's customary to sit with your legs crossed or on your knees when in the presence of older people. This posture reflects a sense of humility and deference, acknowledging the wisdom and experience of the elders. It's a subtle yet powerful way of showing respect and reverence for those who came before us. But this custom isn't unique to Kazakhstan. It's observed in many cultures around the world. Take India, for example, where sitting cross-legged or kneeling on the floor is customary when visiting a temple or holy place. Just like in Kazakhstan, it's all about showing respect for authority and tradition. And speaking of tradition, Kazakhs take their respect for elders seriously. In fact, it's not uncommon for younger people to offer tea or a meal first to older individuals as a gesture of hospitality and respect. It's a small yet meaningful way of honoring the wisdom and experience of the Aksakals and Whitebeards who hold a special place in Kazakh society. All right, folks, let's shake things up a bit as we explore another intriguing taboo in Kazakhstan. Nine, men shaking women's hands in public. You might be scratching your head and wondering, what's the big deal about a simple handshake? Well, in Kazakh culture, it's not as simple as it seems. In Kazakhstan, the act of men shaking women's hands in public is considered a taboo, especially among those who adhere to religious traditions, particularly Islam. You see, many Kazakh men, being Muslim, choose not to shake hands with women due to deeply held religious beliefs. This custom is deeply rooted in Islamic teachings, which emphasize modesty, respect, and gender segregation. The practice is influenced by the concept of uyat, which enforces traditional gender roles and emphasizes the importance of a woman's representation of her family's honor and status. According to these beliefs, physical contact between unrelated men and women is discouraged in order to preserve modesty and uphold social decorum. As a result, men often refrain from shaking hands with women in public settings as it is seen as a breach of cultural and religious norms. And there's more to the story. In Kazakhstani culture, women are also expected to adhere to certain behavioral norms, and any deviation from these stereotypes can lead to shame or uyat. This places a significant burden on women to conform to societal expectations and uphold the honor and reputation of their families. Now, you might be wondering how women greet each other in a culture where handshakes between men and women are frowned upon. It is customary for women to greet each other with a handshake, usually with both hands or a slight nod of acknowledgement. However, note that this custom is reserved for interactions between women. And if a woman does wish to shake hands with a man, she should wait for the man to initiate the handshake. This shows respect for his beliefs and cultural norms while also acknowledging the importance of maintaining social boundaries. So, remember to be mindful of this cultural taboo. 
By respecting the traditions and beliefs of the Kazakh people, you're not just following the rules. You're showing reverence for their heritage and way of life. Finally, it's time to talk about a taboo that might seem the most surprising. 10. Exchanging money directly in Kazakhstan. That's right. In this fascinating country, there's a custom that dictates how money should be exchanged, and it's all about showing respect and politeness. So, what are the ins and outs of this intriguing tradition? In Kazakhstan, handing money directly to someone during an exchange is considered a bit of a faux pas. Instead, it's much better to put the money in a dish or on a counter and let the other person pick it up from there. Why all the fuss about how money is exchanged? Well, it's all about respect and cultural norms. In Kazakh culture, the way they handle money reflects their values and beliefs. By placing money in a dish or on a counter, they're showing respect to the other person and acknowledging their worth. It's a subtle yet meaningful gesture that demonstrates their appreciation for others' role in the exchange. But that's not all. This custom also serves another important purpose. It helps to avoid any suspicion of cheating or dishonesty in the transaction. By putting the money out in the open, both parties can see exactly what's being exchanged, reducing the risk of misunderstandings or disputes. And it's not just about money. This custom applies to other items as well, such as gifts. When presenting a gift to someone in Kazakhstan, it's common practice to place it in a dish or on a surface and allow the recipient to pick it up themselves. Again, it's all about showing respect and avoiding any hint of impropriety. Now you might be thinking, isn't this all a bit excessive? Well, perhaps to some, but in Kazakhstan, these customs are deeply ingrained in our culture and way of life. They're a reflection of our values and beliefs, passed down from generation to generation as a way of maintaining harmony and mutual respect in their society. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune into our next exciting video.